What are employers are looking for in the future? Let's uh, hope Simon Sinek will explain in a few seconds focus on the future. One of the big struggles that this young generation, Gen, Gen Y and Gen Z, are struggling with is, is they're ill-equipped with the skills required for uh, su being a successful human being. That, that there's a generation, unfortunately, there are too many of them who literally aren't learning the skills of how to talk to people. Difficult conversations is one of the things you have to have. I will approach you and give you difficult feedback that everybody knows, but everybody's afraid to tell you so that you can grow as a human being. I will do that. We have to teach listening, effective communication, how to give and receive feedback, how to have difficult conversations. The future of leadership is not looking good. And unfortunately, the responsibility now falls on the company because we didn't do it in school and we didn't do it in university. We definitely didn't do it at business school. So when are we going to do it? And in 57 seconds, I just want to show you how much we can do within three months or you yourself by knowing those steps that I will present today. It's literally amazing how much I've grown. I learned so much uh, about self-awareness. Man, like that has changed my life. Valuable for sure for me was confidence. Well, what are your priorities? What do you value? What are these kind of like strategic high level personal items. Awesome because there was this commitment of excellence around it, but there was still the flexibility and learning style to make mistakes, but grow and ask questions. He helped me to improve my abilities and learn new skills. I had the opportunity to discover myself, to discover a lot of hidden skills that I didn't knew that I have. The experience with Cotif was definitely crucial to get my job at that time. What I really like a lot it's their philosophy. They think about that, the happiness. These experience were the best of my life. So let's dive in. There are certain fundamentals that we need to understand before we make any other further steps. We very often blame, complain and judge. It's so natural. How do you feel when you complain? I guess it's down feeling. I think if you blame someone else, it's just because you don't can be truthful to yourself to say, okay, I did a mistake. Where focus goes, energy goes. To make it a conscious choice, I want to focus on something that helps me and lifts me up. And how to bring back the motivation? Exactly. Exactly. You go back to your vision and see what motivates you. I wish you a great day. Thank you very much. <laughs>